Nicole Slotty from Mobile Geeks, and here we are looking at a smartwatch. This is actually a 3G smart smartwatch. It's got a 1.4 inch display. Um, it's running a MTK processor, the 6577, and you can see over here, they've actually put the SIM card slot into the wristband, which I think is very neat. So you can see that there is a camera into the side there. Now I'm just going to scroll down. You can see that they've put a, a Windows phone interface onto the front, but it is running uh, Android, which is very cool. So let's just head on over into settings, scroll on. Ooh. So now I accidentally hit that. Now over here for navigation, there's the back button right there. So if we just scroll down, hit about the phone, and then you can see that we are running Android 4.0.4. .4. Now I think the navigation is pretty smart. Let's just see this here. The brightness is not that great. You can see that we can go back, back, which is pretty neat. And then there we can actually just shut the display right down. Uh, let's open this up again and look for the camera. All right, let's head on over into here. So you can see that it is a traditional uh, Android backend, but I cannot, for the life of me, ah, oh, there it is, see the camera. So you can see right here, there's the camera shooting all of the goodness. So we'll film right over here. Well, everything's sideways. This will usually go at the top of your wrist shooting like this. It will shoot over there. There's the uh, show going on. All right, so it's a two megapixel camera, which is pretty cool. And it has a 600 milliampere battery, which, which should give you about a six hour, or six, or six to eight hours um, if you're running full G and playing with a lot of the apps. So it does have a screen resolution of 240 by 240. Now the end price for this should be around 110 US dollars. And you can see on the side there, it does just charge by micro USB. It's very light, and I do think it's quite interesting that they've got the integrated band with the 3G part over here, which kind of, well, it attempts to cut down on the height. So this has just been a quick look at the eBot. So this is by a company over here in China. So this is their eBot smartwatch. Yeah.